alaikum, dear viewers. In the Quran, there are a lot of scientific miracles, subhanAllah. And the scientists have invented things. But those inventions were already mentioned in the Quran long before the scientists have even invented that. Like, for example, the Big Bang or even the black hole. Subjects like these were already mentioned in the Quran before the scientists even discovered it. So today, I'm going to explain to you what the, uh, what the black hole is and what the Quran has said about the black hole. The Quran and science are not contradictory. Instead, the Quran is supported by the science. So my dear viewers, what is a black hole? A black hole appears when an extraordinary amount of matter is concentrated into a tiny space. At the center of the black hole, gravity is almost infinitely strong, and whatever gets too close to it is ripped into elements and particles. In other words, a black hole is a region in space where the force of gravity is so strong that not even light can escape the black hole. The boundary of a black hole is called event horizon, a point of no return. When something crosses this event horizon, it collapses into the black hole singularity, an infinitely small and infinitely dense point where space, time, and laws of physics no longer apply. What would happen to you if you would fall into a black hole? Well, think of it this way. Imagine that you are swimming in, an, in, in a big river and that river ends in an enormous waterfall. So let's say you're swimming and swimming. And then when you're crossing that point of no return, when you're just, when you're crossing the edge of that big waterfall, then the if you, even if you try to swim in the opposite direction, the stream will just pull you back and you will fall into the waterfall. And that's the same thing as this black hole. Once you cross the point of no coming back or the or the event horizon then there is actually no coming back i mean you cannot try to go in the opposite direction or else you will there'll be no use because you'll be dragged into that black hole by the way does this black hole kind of sound like a vacuum cleaner to me if you look into a black hole what you really see is the event horizon Anything that crosses the event horizon needs to be traveling faster than the speed of light to escape, which is not possible, which is impossible. So we just see a black sphere reflecting nothing. But if the event horizon is the black sphere, then what is the whole part of the black hole? That is actually called a singularity. We are not sure what it is exactly. A singularity may be infinitely dense, meaning all its mass are concentrated into a single point of space with no surface area or volume. Right now, we just know it's like dividing a zero. If we could swap the sun with an equally massive black hole, will our Earth be in danger of falling into that black hole? Well, not exactly. The black hole's gravitational pull will be identical to the sun. So the Earth and the rest of our solar system will not fall into that black hole. And we will continue to orbit the black hole. But the danger will be that because of no heat and light, we will freeze in death. Scientists have theorized several different types of black holes, with stellar, stellar and supermassive being the most common. Stellar black holes form when massive stars die and collapse, roughly 10 to 20 times mass of our sun. There could be millions of these stellar black holes in our Milky Way. Supermassive black holes are giant by comparison, measuring billions, even millions times more masses than our sun. They exist at the very center of every large galaxy, including our own. Sagittarius A is a supermassive black hole at the center of our own galaxy Milky Way. This Sagittarius A has a mass of roughly 4 million suns and has a diameter of the distance between Earth and the sun. And we know, untold numbers of black holes are scattered throughout the universe, continuously distorting and deforming space and time, altering entire galaxies and endlessly inspiring our imagination. Okay, so dear viewers, now we are going to see that does the Quran actually mention the black hole? Is the black hole actually mentioned in the Quran? So let's check it out. Actually, in Surah Al-Waqi'ah, 
Ayah number 75, Allah says, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُمْ Which means, I swear by this place where the stars fall. So where does the star fall? In a black hole, right? So that's one place where uh, the Quran has the black hole mentioned. Now in Surah Al-Mursalat, Ayah number 8, Allah says, فَإِذَا النُّجُمُ طُمِسَتْ And that means that when the, when the stars are extinguished. So when are they extinguished? You guess. Well, if you have guessed that they're extinguished when they fall into the black hole, then you are absolutely correct. Now, these are two places where the black hole is mentioned in the Quran. SubhanAllah. And also, in Surah Al-Taqweer, ayah number 1 and 2, Allah says, إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ انكدرت, Which means, when the sun has been extinguished. And the second ayah means, and when the stars fall down. So when is the sun extinguished and when do the stars fall down? When they are falling into the black hole, right? So there is another place where Allah mentions this black hole. MashaAllah, SubhanAllah. Okay, so now dear viewers, we just saw that what is a black hole and where the Quran actually mentions a black hole. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all learned a lot from it. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.